everybody want to be a beast until it's time to do what beasts do. Everybody want to be a beast. Everybody got lions. Tattoos of lions. Lions all on their Twitter face, but everybody got the lion thing now. They tweet now. Rawr. Because real lions like to hunt. They love the process just as much as they love the prize. And some of y'all just want to score. You don't like the process. You're not in love with the process. If you will be a champion, if you will be a beast, you're going to have to go through something. Ain't nobody going to hand you nothing. Ain't nobody going to hand you no championship. Ain't nobody going to hand you no title. So this is my year. I end. This is my year. Listen to me. Say, be phenomenal. This is it. I want you to chant it out. This is it. Be phenomenal or be forgotten. One, two, three. Be phenomenal, be forgotten. One, two, three. Be phenomenal, be forgotten. Last time. One, two, three. Be phenomenal, be forgotten. That's my time, guys. Success, guys, a very, very lonely road, man. And along that road, you're not going to see too many friends. You're going to see your shadow most often. See, the thing is, for many people, they've tried the same path you're on, and they failed. You don't burn out mentally because you always burn out physically. You got trust in the heart of hearts inside what you're doing, what you believe in is a worthy cause, a winnable fight. If you allow it to sit, it will grow root and start breaking you down, destroying the potential of the person you can be. The champions, guys. It's not their potential, it's not their genetics. It's their perseverance to always show up. What I'm saying is the character of who you are. It's not the title that makes you, it's not the success that makes you. The character defines the success, defines the fame, and it starts right there. It's how you look at something, if your name's attached to it, and you do it right, the best of your ability, every single time. Championships aren't won in the theater of the arena. They're won in the thousands of hours in the training room, in the labs, in the 5 a.m. runs, and then it's raining when everyone else is sleeping. That's when it's won. The heart of a champion is a light switch that's always on. It doesn't go on and off when someone's watching. It's constant. Fear is self-imposed, meaning it doesn't exist. You create it, you can destroy it too. I love fear. The reason why? Behind every fear is a person you want to be. Face your fears, you become the person you want to be. You run from your fears, you're not living. You're alive, but you're not digging into freedom. If you face your fears, guys, that fear is destroyed. It comes back in its confidence. What else am I? What else am I capable of? What else am I holding my back from that I'm capable of more? Where am I running from? I don't need to. What else can I overcome? Embark this journey, you must know that it's going to go down before it comes up. And when it comes up, it's going to go so much higher than you've ever been. It begins right now with no one looking at it. The difference between a winner and a loser this is the winner gets back up and does it again. It does it again until it goes his way. Sacrificing today for tomorrow's betterment. Something in the near future, relative future, that gives value to today. We all fall down in life. The question is, who gets back up? You go after and you give it all you have. If you lose, at least you try, man. I failed. It's ten times more of a man than someone said, what if? Because what if never went to the arena? You hit the wall someplace, you look in the mirror too many times and haven't smiled. You want to change the situation, move from where you are. And you do it right, the best of your ability, every single time. That's the same person who has his hand raised on the podium one day. Because it's hard. It's an uphill battle. It's a path less taken. That's what creates the champion. 